guys, it's Wolfman here. So right now this is um, my second to last day, well technically second and a half last day that I'm here in Tokyo. And um, right now I'm right outside the Hamamatsucho station, um, right here in the downtown part of the city. And I wanted to show you guys a really special thing that I happened to stumble across when I was down here. And I, I heard about it online, but I hadn't actually seen it. I went to that, I mean, I visited it last week, but I didn't actually get a chance to show everyone exactly what it is. But it's the Pokemon Center here in Tokyo. And it's pretty amazing stuff as far as uh, what you can, what you see here. Because you don't see this stuff back at home. And it's pretty awesome. And uh, so let's go in and go from there. I'll show you around. Again, this is really awesome because again, you don't see this stuff back at home. Even if they have Pokemon stuff back at home, it's like, it's nothing compared to this. Pillows. Ah, oh, Eevee. <laughs> Pikachu, Squirrel, Bulbasaur. My favorite character. From Pokemon X and Y. It's the one that I picked. And I'm having a brain freeze. I can't remember the top of my head. Off the top of my head. Mine will be, as you can see right there. You can see the price is 3,980 yen, which is the equivalent to just about $40. <clears throat> Again, like I've said in my previous videos, price is not really an issue for me because this is just like a once in a lifetime type thing that you can see. So. All these plushies. It's pretty crazy. You have, uh, I think these are like, I don't even know what these are. But you just have so much of a variety of stuff. You have bowls, you have uh, plates. Cups, spoons. There's only a fraction of the area, you see. Oh, there's Charizard up there. Pokemon cookies. Apple tea cookies with Pikachu on them. Lots of, this is all like the uh, food stuff it seems over here. Pokemon with you. You buy a Pokeball here and opens and you magically be any one of these things. To my friend Steve, I really wish you could be here to see this because 
I know that you'd probably be spending all day in here. A bunch of folders right here, it seems. Getting a lot of street pass people on my 3DS here. All the keychain plushies, Charmander, Bulbasaur, uh, Cyndaquil, Eevee, Lapras, Mew, a few others that I can't name off the top of my off. So I heard you like. These are some really cool keychains here. Here you have all the stuff for the, these are all the cell phone accessories right here. You have the iPad, iPhone, even a micro USB connectors here. <coughs> More keychains that are back over there. More awesome keychains. <laughs> NK. This Pokemon. I just caught one of those in Pokemon X. Oh, they have 3DS XL cases. Which, here in Japan, they classify it as LL. I might just get one of these because I need something for my 3DS. I just have the bland red 3DS that I have nothing on it. Bags, you have more plushies, shirts, slippers, socks, <clears throat> even clocks. I say I was wondering if this was ramen. I wasn't sure what this was. Binders, more trading cards. Pikachu slippers. Pikachu sleeping. It's cute. Stickers. I bought one of these actually. 
the last time I was here last week. This is the number one area besides Sega Joy Polis that I've seen the most amount of uh, people visiting from a different country besides Japan. Street Pass, for example, I've gotten people from Spain, France, Germany, South Korea, the United States, of course, Canada, and Brazil, I believe. So, several different countries. They're very diverse here as far as people visiting, so, but, hey, can't complain about it. Definitely a good thing. And I got away from the Pokemon anime, like, back when I was a kid, back in, like, 2002-ish, but... <laughs> brings me back to my childhood, I'll tell you that. No. All the, here's all the World Cup stuff. <sighs> oh, God. That's funny. ようこそ。前のこちらが、感想を聞いてください。とてもステッカーのパーティーとともに。Well, there's a cash register over there. So, with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. More food items, but other than that, that's pretty much the Pokemon Center here in downtown Tokyo, guys. So, if you ever are here in the Tokyo area, it's really easy. Literally, this place is right across the street from the Hamamatsu Cho station. So, all you have to do is look for Hamamatsu Cho, which is one of the biggest lines on the uh, JR <clears throat> on the Japan Railway. So, very simple to get here. And um, with that said, Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, to everyone that couldn't be here, hopefully you can all make it here someday, because I definitely know that you all would like this area, so. Well, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little tour of the Pokemon Center here in downtown Tokyo, and we'll see y'all later.